How did it seriously take me this long to realize how much of a hunk Keanu Reeves is? This week, we watch Speed. Sandra Bullock is just crushing the female stereotype about women drivers because she is driving this bus through the movie. In order to play Annie, she actually did have to get her bus driver's license. And she nailed that test on the first try. Way to go, Sandy Bullock. This movie has totally stood the test of time. It was made in 1994, which is the same year as I mentioned Forrest Gump, Pulp Fiction, Shawshank Redemption, great year for film. A little personal note, this bus is from Santa Monica, and I've actually ridden the city bus in Santa Monica, and I've also flown out of LAX. So I was really excited to have like a personal connection to this movie. Went on a little action adventure rampage this weekend, sorry. <laughs> uh, it won the Academy Award for Best Sound, and uh, the cast includes Keanu Reeves, Dennis Hopper, Sandra Bullock, and um, Jeff Daniels is also in this movie as well. So Jack Traven, a young cop, must save the passengers of a bus that has a bomb set to explode if the bus goes below 50 miles per hour. Speed is one of those films that does exactly what it says in the title. It tears along with the machine tool precision of a big budget action film intent on dispensing wall-to-wall -wall frills, stunts, and special effects. An inventive thriller that starts with hostages trapped in an elevator and continues with two chases, one on a bus, another on a subway train. Featuring Sandra Bullock as a woman who must keep her foot to the pedal on a bomb-primed bus and filmed the film also revealed Keanu Reeves to be a compelling action hero. Next stop, The Matrix, which is also in this book. Uh, director Jean de Bont, who had worked as a cinematographer on other action movies, such as Total Recall and Die Hard, delivers a compelling white knuckled ride all the way to the subway station. I love that it says that Jack is a resourceful cop because uh, I mean, they do show in the movie he does a lot of like act first, think later things. Like when he jumps on the top of the subway train. I mean, what's his plan there? <laughs> really? But also, <laughs> there was a New York Times critic that asked the question when this movie came out if he's so resourceful and so good at problem solving, why didn't he just shoot the tires of the bus before it exceeded 50 miles per hour? Makes you think. I know that means we would have had a movie, and it is a great movie worth watching, so I'm glad that they didn't just end it with that. Um, but it is a really funny thought. He is easy on the eyes and fun to watch. Also, let's think about how much damage this movie caused. Between like the bus crashing into things, the subway crashing into things, everything that happens to damage the city and personal property. Would it have been cheaper just to pay the guy $3 million? I do love a good action movie that says F you to physics, because let me tell you, that bus could not have made that jump over that freeway. In fact, if you don't believe me, there's a Mythbusters episode on it, and I'm gonna link that in the comment section. I'm also gonna link the behind the scenes video that I found of how they actually filmed and shot and did that epic bus scene. Although, I'm okay with them bending the laws of physics for the movie, there are two things in this movie that I just find super unbelievable and no matter what you tell me, I'm not gonna believe it. So at the start of the movie, Keanu Reeves runs up 32 flights of stairs doesn't break a sweat, isn't out of breath. I don't care who you are, I don't care how fit you are. 32 flights of stairs and you're telling me that he's like not even huffing a tiny little bit? <laughs> Number two, how does Sandra Bullock get free in that subway? She's locked at the pole, they try and break the pole, they try and break the cuffs, they can't do anything. Keanu Reeves decides he's gonna stay with her and die with her even though the tracks aren't finished. Seriously, does this city finish any project? They don't finish the freeway or the subway system? So then the subway train crashes and all of a sudden they're on top of each other, hugging each other, no pole in between them. What happened to the pole? Where's the pole? How did she get free from the pole? 
If you can answer these questions for me, I'll believe you, but I, I'm not buying it. If you're enjoying these movie reviews and you want to see more about what's in the 501 must-see movies, please unsubscribe to my channel, like the video, and give me a comment. Let me know what you thought about this movie. Let me know how you feel about the physics, and um, don't forget to watch my video on Friday.